Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic and that is advantages and disadvantages of friction. So, let's start with your first topic that is advantages of friction. Now, suppose imagine there's a girl, she needs to walk. Now, basically for walking, friction is mandatory. Without friction, we can't walk. For example, have you ever noticed if you walk on a slippery surface, you slip. Why? Because there is no friction or very less friction. The another advantage of friction is friction helps to support the ladder inclined to a wall. For example, like this. If you want to keep a ladder in this position, the surface should have friction. Then only the ladder can be supported. Another advantage of friction is the wheels of the vehicle rotates and move ahead. For example, if I am considering this bicycle, this bicycle is able to move ahead. The reason behind that is, there is a friction between the wheels and the ground. Another advantage of friction if we will talk about, that is, without friction, object would slip off the table unless it is horizontal. For example, imagine there is a cup of coffee kept on a table, on a horizontal table. Now, if you will observe, it is not slipping. Why? Because in horizontal condition, if there is very less friction, still the objects won't slip. But suppose students, if it's kept on an inclined or a vertical surface, it would slip off. Okay, so we need friction to keep a body at rest. Another advantage of friction is, it would be difficult to sit on a chair. For example, here, if you want to sit on a chair, we require friction. Have you ever brushed your teeth? Exactly. For brushing your teeth also, we need friction. So, this is nothing but again advantage of friction. Another advantage if we will talk about, have you lit a matchstick? Exactly. That matchstick is lit because of friction. And then one more, because of friction, we are able to write on a blackboard or you can call it as we are able to write on your book. We are able to write because of friction. And one more example if you will talk about, the brakes in a vehicle works because of the frictional force. For example, if this girl wants to stop her bike. So, that is happening because of friction exactly. If you will talk about another advantage of friction, if an object starts moving, it won't stop if there is no friction. For example, can you see a top spinning? Exactly. If there is no friction on the ground, the top will spin throughout its life. Okay. So, the body won't stop if there is no friction. So, for stopping of a body, friction is mandatory. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.